Hello, hello guys. Uh, namaste. Perev. DAP. Sanbo Nani. Anyway, uh, we have an Asus laptop. It's not turning on. Uh, just hold on. Just hold on. Okay, this is not turning on at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect the charger and let's see. What is the problem with this? Uh, last month I repaired the same machine, not this one, similar machine. Uh, and then we'll see what is wrong with this one. Okay, it's not turning on, it's not even charging. Let's see. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do, you need to disconnect the battery. It didn't connect the, the keyboard, I don't know why. But anyway, it's pointless because when I connected the charger, there was no charging light. There should be light right here. Let me connect the charger again. When you connect a charger, there should be light right here saying it's charging but there is no light it's not charging i know why i'm gonna show you right now i know you will all see because you are not blind i know you guys you can see this Alright, what else? I need to connect my microscope, but first, let me roll my charger. Be nice and safe. Damn, good. Then, what's next? Let's have a look under the microscope. Okay, when you are fixing a machine, the first thing that you need to do, you need to understand obvious your power rail, see what is going on, do a physical inspection, then you take it from there. In this case we have a physically uh, damage right here right here this is a power rail came off and there's a hole and starting bent there was some sort of liquid here I don't I don't know what really happened this spot but uh there is liquid right here Let's use a brush. Now 
now what do you need you need a multimeter from your multimeter ah let me show you put your meter into a uh, continuity mode you start from the dc in check this is a dc in check you take one prop you put it to ground then you touch from there no shorts there's a shot of 46 ohms let me show you where i'm checking okay here all right here i have a charging port this is a charging port this is where you connect your your port your charger is called straight here and then uh, the output is this one from the output it goes straight to 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 to, 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 to here to here and then this is the output from the output it goes into the first mosfet after the first mosfet it goes into what a second mosfet after a second mosfet you see what the current center this is a current center and this is how it goes you have the first mosfet and then you have the second MOSFET after the second MOSFET you have what? a current center it doesn't matter whether it's white, black, red, green, navy or so ever but a clue let me give you a clue how to detect a current center we have to read the number there it's R010 R010 let's go back to our um, to our thing, to our board we have the first MOSFET after the first MOSFET the second MOSFET after the second MOSFET you have R010 R010 that's the current center okay from there that's where I was checking you put one prop to ground and then you charge the current center it's not beeping but it's 47 ohms forty seven ohms and that forty seven ohms starts afterwards starts after starts after the second MOSFET after the first MOSFET this is the first MOSFET and then output of the first MOSFET there is no shot it's just zero zero it's just open line but after the second MOSFET there comes a problem 47 ohms that means a short on the 19 volts I know why this is easy you know why it's because of this hole okay let's just work under the microscope otherwise you guys you'll be complaining those little holes they are saying the power goes to the other side of the board and since the power goes to the other side of the board we should be very careful that the negative is not touching the positive and in the ground let's take that off completely off now off now you can see those holes uh, clearly so let's see which one is ground I believe this should be ground this power rail here I believe that's ground 
and that make one inside those four holes i believe those are the the 19 volts Okay, let's confirm something. So to confirm it's very, 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 very easy. This is the ground and this is the positive. The positive worries me because it's, it's, it's low. Like it's very 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 low it shouldn't be ohms it shouldn't be like 50 ohms 60 ohms you should just say like like open line no 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 not open line because there's some other power rail connected but it should be very 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 high like kilo ohms to show that there's no relationship or any close relationship between the negative and the positive because that's exactly what what you are doing when you are checking for, for ohms i mean for for shorts uh, to ground you are comparing the distance between the two as to see how far i mean how resistance or how far to make it simple how far i mean the distance between the ground and uh, and uh, and the power rail that you are checking at that specific time in this case in our case it's the 19 volts so you want to be sure that there's no close relationship it should be like kilo ohms like far away or mega ohms but it should be like something something too far there shouldn't be any close relationships like ohms that's too close let me try again You see now it's now west it's back to arms You know what? Uh, this is the side. This is where it bends. Let's open a hole here.
let's open a hole on this board let's open a hole on this board there we go we have a hole a big hole but now the tricky part about this hole the sensitive part about this hole is that uh, we have some power rails nearby let me show you for example this one here this is a power rail and uh, it shouldn't charge shouldn't charge there at all I don't have to tell you why you you know for yourself you know why obvious okay but this is the main power rail I believe this is ground that one is ground that one is positive that one is ground Okay, this is positive let me scratch the positive i want to check the relationship with the ground how many ohms if it's shorting yes or no Okay, let's see the relationship between the positive and the ground ah uh, let's see there is no relationship and this is ground no relationship this is ground okay uh it's perfect now let's check the other power rails other power rail underneath and this is perfect there's no relationship but this is perfect no relationship okay but we have a problem now We have a power rail passing near this hole. I just want to see this power rails passing near this hole. Just gonna I want to see how many how many power rails are passing here, and um, I want to see if we can be able to connect them proper again that's the first one 
And there's the second one. Can you see? We have two power rails passing there. Check, check, check. The first one we broke it, it's now broken. But it's easy. We'll use a jumper wire to reconnect it. Okay, so we need to make sure that the ground and the positive are not touching. This power rail has been uh, damaged, so I'm just going to take it out. This portion here is not to come out. Yeah, bro, it's out. Yeah, it's super perfect because I don't need these power rails to be near the ground. That's why I'm doing that. Let's do the same thing for the for the other one. Yeah, boy. Let's break this. Yeah, now there is no connection at all at all at all at all so what you need you need flaxy after flaxy what else you need a wire after a wire what do you need you need a soldering iron after a soldering iron what do you need you have to do the thing
Okay.
All right, I'm um, done. I think I'm done. Okay, now let's check if there's no relationship between those two wires, uh, between this one and then this one. There's a chain on. What about this to this? It's zero zero straight to ground. But this one, they have a tiny relationship, and I'm not sure whether they should have the tiny relationship or there shouldn't be any relationship at all. What about this in the ground 9 ohms 9.6 ohms okay now i understand what is going on what about this this on the ground this is ground this one here is ground yeah this one is ground but I'm gonna confirm. I have another machine, similar board. I wanna see if that board is ground. And you know what? This board is too far. Now, this is a. Now we're gonna have to attend the tricky party now. The tricky party. Now there comes a tricky party. We have to remove that flaxy and then apply. Oh, you know what? Here, we have to put the wire there because you know why? That's our 19 volt. We have to make sure. right we have the thing there now let's connect the wire and this should be a big wire it can't be a small wire because that power rail is too big so i believe it should be something big I'm going to use this wire, why it's too big. I'm going to use this wire. I'm going to put it here. See this hole there? I'm going to put this wire inside the hole. Okay. I'm going to put it inside the hole and then secure the wire from the other side and then make sure this wire touches what? touches this big power rail here, the positive <laughs> hope you can see, I'm gonna tighten it there and then the other part from there let me show you from the microscope first let's cut
All right, so this is the other side of the board. Let's check for shots when it's compared to ground again. There's no shots. So what do we need here? We need the tape to secure the thing.
all right now let's confirm before we turn on the machine okay uh it seems to be fine Okay, let's do it. Let's connect the charger. There we go, it's charging. Let's press the power button. I want to see something. Okay, let's just put the screws. It's charging. All right, let's see. Do we have a display? Okay, we have a white light, which means the laptop is charging. Okay, it's turning on. No fan spin. Do we have a display? Yes, we do have a display. There we go. <laughs> the laptop is turning on. It's working. Anyway, I'm going to see you uh, next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>